January 16th, Genesis 32, 13 through 34, 31. So he, Jacob, lodged there at the same night and took what came to his hand as a present for, his bro- for Esau, his brother, 200 female goats and 20 male goats, 200 ewes and 20 rams, 30 milk camels with their colts, 40 cows and 10 bulls, 20 female donkeys and 10 foals. Then he delivered them to the hand of his servants, every drove by itself. And he said to his servants, Pass over before me, and put some distance between successive droves. And he commanded the first one, saying, When Esau, my brother, meets you, and asks you, saying, To whom do you belong, and where are you going? Whose are these in front of you? Then you shall say, These are your servants, Jacob's. It is a present sent to my lord Esau, and behold, he also is behind us. So he commanded the second, the third, and all who followed the drove, saying, In this manner you shall speak to Esau, when you find him, and also say, Behold, your servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I go, or for he said, I will appease him with the present that goes before me, and I And afterward I see his face, perhaps he will accept me. So the present went on before him, but he himself lodged that night in the camp. And he arose that night and took his two wives, his two female servants, and eleven sons, and crossed over the ford of Jabbok. He took them, sent them over the brook, and sent them, sent over what he had. Then Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip, and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? He said, Jacob. And he said, Your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked, saying, Tell me your name, I pray. And he said, Why is it that you ask me ask about my name? And he blessed him there. So Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Just as he crossed over Penuel, the sun rose on him, and he limped on his hip. Therefore, to this day, the children of Israel do not eat the muscle at the, that shrink, which is the hip socket, because he touched the socket of Jacob's hip in the muscle that shrank. Now Jacob lifted his eyes and looked, and there Esau was coming, and with him were four hundred men. So he divided the children among Leah, Rachel, and the two maidservants. And he put the maidservants and their children in front, Leah and her children behind, and Rachel and Joseph last. Then he crossed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near his brother. But Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him, and they wept. And he lifted his eyes and saw the women and children and said, Who are these with you? So he said, The children whom God has graciously graciously given your servant. Then the maidservants came near, they and their children, and bowed down. And Leah also came near with her children, and they bowed down. Afterward, Joseph and Rachel came near, and they bowed down. Then Esau said, What do you mean by all this company which I met? And he said, These are to find favor in the sight of my Lord. But Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. And Jacob said, No, please, if I have now found favor in your sight, then receive my present from my hand, inasmuch as I have seen your face as though I had seen the face of God, and you were pleased with me. Please take my blessing that is brought to you, because God has dealt graciously with me, and because I have enough. So he urged him, and he took it. Then Esau said, Let us take our journey, let us go, and I will go before you. But Jacob said to him, My Lord knows that the children are weak, and the flocks and herds are nursing that are with me. 
And if men should drive them hard, one day all the flock will die. Please, my Lord, go on ahead before his servant. I will lead on slowly at a pace which my livestock, which the livestock that go before me and the children are able to endure until I come to my Lord in Seir. And Esau said, Now let me leave you with some people who are with me. But he said, What need is there? Let me find favor in the sight of my Lord. So Esau returned that day on his way to Seir. And Jacob journeyed to Succoth, built him built himself a house, and made booths for his livestock. Therefore the name of the place is called Succoth. Then Jacob came safely to the place of Shechem, which is the land of Canaan. When he came, when he came from Padan Aram, and he pitched his tent before the city, and he bought a parcel of land where he had pitched his tent from the children of Hamar, Shechem's father, for one hundred pieces of money. Then he erected an altar there and called it El Elo Israel. Now Dina, the daughter of Leah, whom she had borne to Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and violated her. His soul was strongly attached to Dina, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the young woman and spoke kindly of the, to the young woman. So Shechem spoke to his father Hamor, saying, Give me this young woman as a wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dina, his daughter. Now his sons were with his livestock in the field. So Jacob held his peace until they came. Then Hamor, the father of Shechem, went out to Jacob to speak with him. And the sons of Jacob came in the field when they heard it. And the men were grieved and very angry because he had done a disgraceful thing in Israel by lying with Jacob's daughter, a thing which ought not to be done. But Hamor spoke with them, saying, The soul of my son Shechem longs for your daughter. Please give her to him as a wife and make marriages with us. Give us, give your daughters to us and take our daughters for yourselves. So you shall dwell with us and the land shall be before you. Dwell and trade in it, and acquire possessions for yourselves in it. Then Shechem said to her father, said to her father and her brothers, "Let me find favor in your eyes, and whatever you say to me, I will give. Ask me ever as much, ask me ever so much dowry and gift, and I will give according to what you say to me. But give me the young woman as a wife." But the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and Hamor his father, and spoke deceit, deceitfully, because he had defiled Dinah their sister. And they said to them, We cannot do this thing, to give our sister to one who is uncircumcised, for that would be a reproach to us. But on this condition we will consent to you. If you will become as we are, every male of you is circumcised, then we will give you our daughters, we will give to you our daughters, and we will take daughters to us. And we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if you will not heed us and be circumcised, then we will take your daughter and be gone. And their words pleased Hamor and Shechem, Hamor's son. So the young man did, did not delay doing this thing, because he delighted in Jacob's daughter. He was more honorable than all the household of his father. And Hamor and Shechem, his son, came to the gate of their city and spoke with the men of their city, saying, These men are at peace with us. Therefore, let them dwell in the land and trade in it. Therefore, indeed, the land is large enough for, for them. Let us take their daughters to us as wives and let us give them our daughters. Only on this condition that the men will consent that only on this com condition will the men consent to dwell with us, to be one people, if every male among us is circumcised as they are circumcised. Will not their livestock, their property, and every animal of theirs be ours? Only let us consent to them that they will dwell with us. And all who went out of the gate of the city heeded Hamor 
and Shechem his son, every male was circumcised, all who went out of the gate of his city. Now it came to pass on the third day, when there, they were in pain, that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brothers, each took a sword and came boldly upon the city and killed all the males. And they killed Hamor and Shechem his son with the edge of the sword and took Dinah from Shechem's house and went out. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain, plundered the city because their sister had been defiled. They took their sheep and their oxen and donkeys, what was in the city and what was in the field and all their wealth all their little ones and their wives, and they, they took captive, and they plundered even all that was in the houses. Then Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, You have troubled me by making me obnoxious among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites. And since I am a few number, they will gather themselves together against me and kill me. I shall be destroyed, my household and I. But they said, should he treat our sister like a harlot? Matthew eleven seven through 30 As they departed, Jesus began to say to the multitudes concerning John, What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? But what did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft garments? Indeed, those who wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say to you, more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. Assuredly, I say to you, among those born of a woman, or born of women, there is not risen one greater than John the Baptist, but he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, a until now the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you are willing to receive it, he is Elijah who is to come. He who has ears, let him hear. But to what shall I liken this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to, the, to their companions and saying, we played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We mourned to you, and you did not lament. For John came, neither eating nor drinking, and they say, he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, look, a glutton and a wine bibber, a friend of the tax collectors and sinners, but wisdom is justified by, their ch by her children. Then he began to rebuke the cities in which most of his high mighty works had been done because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazon. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For the, if the mighty works which were done had been done in Tyre, Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, who exalted to heaven, will be brought down to Hades. For if, it, for if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say to you that it shall be more tolerable the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them to babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, nor does anyone know the Father except the Son, and the one, who con the one whom the Son wills to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Psalm 14, 1-7 The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done ab abominable works. There is none who does good. 
The Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek God. They have all turned aside. They have together become corrupt. There is none who does good. No, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread, and do not call on the Lord? There they are in great fear, for God is with the generation of the righteous. You shame the counsel of the poor, but the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that salvation of Israel would come out of Zion, when the Lord brings back the captivity of his people. Let Jacob rejoice, and Israel be glad. Proverbs three nineteen through 20 The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding he established, he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths were broken up, and clouds dropped down the dew.